Hi, this is worm, how to build, how to start off your worm box, part two. I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna name the video, but this is what this one is, this video. My other one, my light turned off because supposedly my phone was too hot, but screw it, I overrid it. All right, so when you're starting off your worm box, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to, I know mine's all gritty, but there was worms in there. I didn't wanna rub them off because I didn't wanna scrape them and kill them. So I left them there, hopefully they'll, build themselves a nest again or whatever. I got as low as possible. So I'm gonna wanna sp sprinkle this all in there. Oops. A little bit somewhere else. It's fine. Put it there, put it there, put it everywhere. You know? And you're gonna wanna layer it. Hold on real quickly. You're gonna wanna layer it. So you take this, put it over here. With this, what's up Jay? want to put some of this in there like so just like that okay and this right here just in case this is the uh, old worm stuff when I was cleaning out my worm box this is the contents that I took out of it so I'm just putting it right back into the box that I took it out of okay so I'm just gonna take it put it over here oops just throwing shit everywhere huh Johnny alrighty then you're just gonna wanna layer it. But this time, I'm gonna just do this first layer and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these leaves right here, okay? Make me a fresh layer of uh, kick-ass leaves. Make everything real nice. And I'm also gonna, uh, let me stop this video real quick. I'm gonna show you something really cool too. I'm gonna add some fresh, ve fresh vegetables in here to rot and they, they can eat it and uh, feel comfortable, get fed. I like to, um, let me show you. Now in order not to overfeed my worms, what I like to do is I like to uh, get, the, get the food that I want to feed them and sometimes I'll uh, put it in a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag and then I'll put it inside the refrigerator, which is what I have right here. Hold on. Okay. And right there down at the bottom right there, that's what we're going to, this is what I put it in right here. Let me show you guys. There it is. There's the ground up veggies. Ooh, it's all bubbly. It's all bubbly. I don't know if that's good or not, but they're gonna have to eat it anyways, right? So, what I do with my concoction when I blend it up here, is I put a lot of water in there. That saves me the time from, for adding water into the box already, okay? So that's just a little something that I like to do, okay? Well, let's get to, to adding it, but before I add it, I'm gonna to have to put this box into something because I don't have the, the container for the bottom. Okay, do that. All right, my box is at an angle, uh, but I think it'll work just fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this, now again, I have the, I have water in here as well as uh, salt, salt aid or whatever the hell, bure, I mean, burel de veggies, and I'm just gonna pour some around here, you know, just a little bit so they can find it. That's a big chunk, looking like a turd. Just spread it, it's fine. And put some more. It's a big banana piece. You know? Just a bunch, and there's worms all in this, so they're gonna be able to find it. It's a bit cold, but it'll be fine. Now, another thing you're gonna wanna do now is the leaves, the brand new leaves. This is something new that I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna try it. Next month, we're gonna see what kind of worm castings we get. There we go. We had some pre-ground up, added them in there. What we're gonna do here now, 
is we're gonna uh, keep going. Alrighty then. One, two, skip a few. 99, 100. Cool. So, we're gonna get some of these. We're gonna get, actually get some more of this veggie juice. Veggie juice. Yeah, son. Spread it around. Okay. Worms are gonna love it. Be happy. I'm gonna be happy. My plants can be happy. Everybody's gonna win. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Alrighty then. Now, I know you probably don't remember, but a uh, couple of videos before this one, before I had problems with my light and everything like that, uh, we had these uh, thing of uh, seeds right here that came from the inside of this thing. Okay, and there's also worms that are hidden inside these uh, things, as you can see right here. There's worms hidden inside these avocados. We gotta do something with them. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, let the world know. I shove them right there. Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. Not only that, I'm turn this to the side. I got everything going crazy on me right now. Sorry about that. Sorry if my video is poor quality. Okay. Alright. We're just gonna put these things back in here. You know? Where they can grow. Continue to grow. And everything will be fine. All these things. Just place them in there anywhere. Anywhere is fine. By next month, these things are going to be Easton. Little baby trees. Little avocado trees. That's all they're really putting in there, really. A couple of pecans. These are all real hard, stubborn seeds, and they'll grow real easily inside of here. Awesome. So there's your seed layer. You're going to want to put a little bit of uh, this shit around it, too. Because they're going to want to make shit everywhere. You're going to want them to make shit around your... I mean, make castings, I'm sorry. People are going to be like, it's called casting. Quit calling it shit. Anyways, you're going to want to, um, them to make it around your your uh, seeds there. So just uh, put them everywhere. Okay. And just keep layering it over layers and layers. One thing I learned, they love tomatoes. So I always give them a, a big slice of tomato like this upside down. To hide them from the, the sun, the sh uh, light. Oh man, I'm going to have a lot of castings this time around. Last time I had about a quart. Be about a quart of castings. That's weird how I measured it out in a, um, fluids, but uh, hey, <laughs> that's what I had. I guess you could say I had like about a pound, so. maybe less than that. And this is pretty much all you do for right here. And all right, as you can see put in some of those vegetables those blended up vegetables there's worms in here I set up the bottom just right so that way they like it now I'm gonna throw in some of these ground up leaves on top okay this I could save some of these leaves for later I'm really curious on the see the way that uh, they uh, like the leaves or not over the paper you know this is really gonna be something very in interesting to me because the majority of this is already leaves. I've been slowly and surely transitioning from paper to leaves. And we'll see how they like it. Cool. Alrighty then. What, uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, the why and the how on how I set up my worm box. So that way my worms are comfortable and they're living fine. Okay. Now here's what I use. I use a wooden little box like this. This keeps it off the floor. Then I use this jug, okay? Fill it up about halfway with water. And uh, that keeps the ants from crawling inside my box. Ants are very competitive and they will kill your worms. Then this keeps my box, of course, above the water that keeps the ants out. It's kind of like a moat, really. I build it because, well, don't want, uh, don't want my worms to die. 
So one of the fir first things you're going to want to do, a little lamp, a little headlamp. It's so weak. Anyways, one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a real tight, real nice, cool corner to keep it. And I keep them right here. And I'll get this right here and I'll put it right there. Right there like that. I like it like that because it doesn't topple over <laughs> very easily. Toppled over when it's uh, liquid in there. It, sh it likes to shift around like liquid does and that's what happens. But there's no liquid in there right now. But as you can tell, it's pretty sturdy. And that's what you're going to want to happen when you are when you have your worms on top of you. You're not going to want your worm box being knocked over. Ants going to crawl inside and kill your worms. Or there, there's a plenty of a number of things that can happen. But that's pretty much how you want it right there. Okay. Now, next, you're going to want a crate. Right there. Okay. That keeps the water, the box, out of the water. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, we we're, we already got our everything set up all the way up to the crate. Okay. I know you can probably, probably can't really see too good because it's a uh, very low light. But uh, the last thing you're gonna need is well your worms. Worms set up, bam, everything's awesome. Now, only thing you're gonna need is a lid to keep out all the little pests. I got mice in this garage and they they might want to keep come in here and eat whatever is in here that smells good and sweet. And really I'm just trying to wait for it to uh to uh rot off so my worms become interested anyway. <laughs> so uh then you're gonna want you're gonna want a uh some water. Just gonna need some water. So what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna go and again this is just to build a little moat okay you're just gonna fill it up about halfway and this is gonna keep all the ants out from crawling in you know what this is taking a long time and this shit is very heavy so I'm gonna go like this yeah that's the kind of water pressure I need yeah are you recording yeah all right you're gonna sit on you And that is a little moat for the ants. See, the ants are not going to be able to, because they have to get through the water. All right. And that, my friends, is how you set up a worm box. Okay? All you're going to need to do is uh, put in fruits, vegetables. There's a, there's a other videos that will show you what to put in there. Me, I don't put in any citrus in there. I don't put in citrus other than pineapple because I've seen them, they can handle pineapple other than that, then no. A lot of people like to claim that they can handle whatever, that's that's a lie. Uh, I don't put any mango for sure, even though we're Mexican, we eat a lot of mango. If you're overfeeding them, I recommend you get one of these and then put your shit inside of a refrigerator because then they can get sick 